Two messes are connected by a light rope hanging over a pulley or negligible mass. Pulley, negligible mass. Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the masses when they are released from rest. First, we start uh, drawing the free body diagram for each mass. So, we know that 2m is uh, going to win, so that the rotation is going to be <coughs> counterclockwise, counterclockwise, so this direction, this rotation, this direction. So, based on this, I see that 2m. To m, the weight of this 2 times m times g acceleration due to gravity is the weight, and also there is a tension force uh, T drop T like this. So we show also this tension force part, but we know that it's a counterclockwise rotation, that means the acceleration is downward. Okay, for the second mass, weight force is downward, mg, and the tension force upward, t. Now we write Newton's second law for these two free body diagrams. What was Newton's second law? It was F equal ma. Force and accelerations are vector quantities, mass is scalar quantity. So for this, for this uh, F net is going to be T minus 2 mg, that's the net force, T is upward, conventionally positive, uh, M, 2 mg is downward, conventionally negative. That's the F net. The mass is 2m and acceleration is because it is downward I should also implement the direction of the acceleration negative a so it simplifies to um, t minus 2mg equals negative 2ma for the second mass again I write the Newton's second law so T upward, positive T, MG downward, negative MG equals, because acceleration is upward, counterclockwise rotation, acceleration upward, so I write M A direct, because A is positive. To simplify these two equations, we write then T minus 2 mg equals negative 2 ma and this one T minus mg ma. Okay. We subtract one from another. So when we subtract is minus that means t is minus that minus becomes plus plus becomes minus t minus t is a row negative 2 mg plus mg negative mg negative 2 ma negative ma negative 3 ma so that means uh, mg equals 3ma. Also, we can simplify this and write this g equals 3a. So acceleration here is g over 3. Alternatively, uh, we think that there is a mass here and there is another mass here. Okay, they are simply uh, on a flat table and the force this direction is due to this 2m uh, 2mg and due to the second 
this is to m, and this is m, due to the second mass m, the force this direction is mg. Because 2mg is bigger than mg, and the direction of the motion is uh, towards 2mg, therefore we can write acceleration as f, just rearranging this equation, f net over total mass. So now we have to say mm, total mass sigma m, see, because we have two masses and we are considering them at the same time. Alright, so that's the, F, that's the F net. Force 1, force 2, the difference between them is F net. So here we are calculating the magnitude of the acceleration, so we don't have to uh, worry about the direction. One is going in one direction, the other is other direction. F net is the difference. So that means 2mg minus mg is F net. How many masses I had? 2m here and m here. So we sum 2m plus m. And then when we continue, we have now the difference is mg. And sum is 3m. After simplification, m, m, acceleration turns out to be g over 3. We can use this second method. If the pulley is frictionless, then we can use this approach because there is no difference between tensions T and T. So we did not say that uh, this is T1, this is T2. So because of that, we could actually use this second approach. If, if the friction is not negligible, then we really have to use the first approach.